I am Pia Nilsson and I'm the GM for Backstage. I'm here to share about our exciting journey to improve developer experience through our developer portal Backstage. Spotify open sourced our homegrown framework for developer portal five years ago in March 2020. And the project took off on day one and has accelerated ever since. Today, over 3,400 companies are using Backstage to build their internal developer portals, or IDPs for short. Within Spotify, it's used by 700 squads every day to ship and maintain our products. And nowadays, we also have built an enterprise software business on top of this. Now, let's go back a few seconds. Um, why did Spotify build Backstage in the first place? And how did we get from zero to a worldwide adoption? I'm going to talk about the real world challenges we were facing as a company and how Backstage helped us drive innovation, speed, and our developer effectiveness. What I'm not here to talk about is the classic Spotify model. Some of you may recognize this. There's a lot of goodness in this model, and we still do some of the key engineering best practices part of it. But let's be real, much of the autonomous squads and chapter stuff isn't to be taken that seriously. We don't strictly do this anymore and haven't for a very long time. Yet, it left us with a legacy of very independent teams. So when we hit scale, where the misalignment of our technology stack across the company started to really slow us down, we had to come up with some very powerful countermeasures to our culture and organizational structure. Now, this is important to know because Backstage is one of those powerful countermeasures. So in 2018, we saw this big problem. The component growth was rising exponentially, and we knew that most of the the cost of software development isn't the initial writing of the code. It is in the ongoing updates, maintenance, and monitoring of it. Without standardization of our stack, this was a train wreck about to happen if we didn't act. These graphs are recently taken of our infrastructure at Spotify. Every dot here is an actual component. This is not an AI hallucination, but an actual picture of our components. I really like this picture because it speaks to how it feels to work in this ecosystem. It's pretty obvious that it's going to be hard to make sense of this only by talking to people or reading API docs. So in 2017, we built Backstage to support our engineers. Simply put, it's a web page where engineers can see all the components and systems and functions and teams in our entire ecosystem and who owns what and how it's all connected. At the time, IDPs weren't really a thing in the industry, so we helped invent a new product category with Backstage. And in 2020, we open sourced Backstage with the goal of making it the industry standard for IDPs. We believe that everyone just like Spotify needs an, a cloud and vendor agnostic IDP where customers have the freedom to select the best in class DevX providers and also be able to change these over time to stay competitive in their fields. So how are we doing? And how, how can Backstage help you? This is the impact we are seeing in our R&D organization, which is why we are convinced this will help others as well. Now, an IDP is only as effective as its reach we maintain a 96% internal adoption at Spotify over years. And that's why, and we believe that we've figured out how you can do the same. Backstage users commit twice as much code. It stays in production three times as long and Backstage users even have higher retention. Now I mentioned, we believe we know how to drive internal adoption. It's actually built into the core of Backstage, and we refer to it as extensibility. To make an, 
a developer portal really valuable for your company. It needs to be able to grow and evolve to meet your needs. Backstage is built to fit a very autonomous engineering culture, which was actually a blessing in disguise. Backstage plugin um, ownership is decentralized for this reason, which empowers the domain expertise team to mix and match to create real value for their developers. Most wants to buy the Spotify plugins as well as adding your favorite OSS plugin or favorite vendor plugin and sometimes build it yourself. We have seen that this secret source of Backstage really work for others as well. Backstage is clearly winning and is by far the most preferred developer portal in the world. Over the past five years, <clears throat> people have been asking Spotify for more support. They see the promise of Backstage is real and want to fast track themselves by using Backstage like Spotify does. Now, this is why we offer Portal today. This is our fully featured, opinionated developer portal. Portal is running Backstage at scale, just like we do at Spotify, and comes with the bi-weekly OSS upgrades. It's secure, compliant, reliable, all of, these, all of these nice things. And importantly, it comes with the Spotify playbook, the software templates, the standardization approaches, and of course, the no code setup. However, most importantly, I want to say, is that Portal comes with our battle proven DevX products that we're using internally and keep improving for our 700 squads. Recently, we added our AI DevX platform, which is helping Spotify's Spotifyers every day by applying reasoning across many internal data sources, uh, ability to add data sources and MCPs, as well as be being an MCP itself so that you can add the backstage knowledge to your ecosystem to other tools, such as your IDE. We offer uh, also a feature flagging tool, uh, which we are using to safely and smoothly roll out to uh, roll out our features to 237 countries and 700 million users, and our data experience uh, that will help you start treating your data as any other software component, so that you can drive best practices and quality standards in your data stack, just like you would for the rest of for the rest of your fleet. Now, we believe that DevX is a team sport, and this is why you need an extensible IDP like Backstage that can evolve to meet your needs, as well as building on the best in class DevX vendors. We'd love to partner with you and support your com company along the, your DevX journey as well. So if you're ready to fast track your developer, developer effectiveness, you can start by trying our portal for free and with our team supporting you and helping you figure out the goals that moves the needle for your R&D organization. Thank you so much for listening.